Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I'm bringing you some cryptocurrency news articles. Today's article is, what is the future of Ethereum? ETH question mark. So for those of you just curious of what the coin is, it's the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. It has been stealing the limelight from Bitcoin lately, and Ether is the native settlement currency on the Ethereum network an open source platform founded in 2013 by Russian-Canadian programmer Vitalik Buterin and a few other crypto entrepreneurs. So Femix, a major Singapore-based cryptocurrency exchange, is a great option for users to buy Ethereum. The platform even lets users earn interest on Ethereum deposits. With a team of experts, asset managers that offer industry-leading returns built by ex-Morgan Stanley veterans, Femix is a platform built to make finance more accessible through innovative blockchain solutions. Now, what makes Ethereum unique is that while crypto enthusiasts can trade Ethereum as an investment similar to Bitcoin, it is also a platform for developers to create new applications. These can be designed to make buying, selling, and using cryptocurrencies more convenient. This article will focus on the future of Ethereum. Now, what What's in Ethereum's way right now? So there's a few issues Ethereum needs to overcome to achieve the market dominance, and these include scalability and slow transaction times. Scalability is a significant issue with the Ethereum network. Currently, Ethereum can only process around 15 transactions per second. This is very low compared to the payment processors such as Visa, PayPal, and even some other cryptocurrency networks, some of which can handle thousands of transactions per second. The issue stems from the network's consensus model, proof of work, which requires each transaction to be verified by every node on the network. As more transactions are made, more nodes are needed to verify them. All fast enough, this is being addressed through Ethereum's shift to proof of stake, which while controversial within the mining community, will almost certainly improve the network performance while lowering the costs. Now, high gas fees is another situation. Ethereum's high incredibly volatile gas fees have been a major topic of discussion for the last few years. Gas refers to the cost of processing a network transaction, and every block being validated has an upper limit on how much gas can be accepted. This limit is imposed since any action on the network requires gas, and no one application should be able to hog resources. However, miners confirming transactions choose transactions with the highest gas fee reward first. The rest get pushed to a later block and sometimes don't get selected at all. Gas acts like a user's bid for block space, and this dynamic results in expensive network fees. With increasing demand for a limit supply, like network performance, Ethereum moves to proof of stake, and its accompanying change in the validator incentivization model should bring gas fees back down to acceptable levels. Now, the competition of Ethereum. The Ethereum blockchain is only getting bigger, exhibiting a growing footprint across various industries worldwide. However, it, its use of less popular coding language and relatively dated programming makes inefficient use of the network's processing power. This is a problem for businesses that rely on Ethereum smart contracts and could potentially impact the price in the future. Competing platforms like Solana and Avalanche make development much more accessible and have proposed innovative solutions to the blockchain trilemma, making them more attractive to future blockchain-based projects and dApps from developers. That being said, Ethereum is still the dominant platform for distributed applications owing mainly to its massive network of users. Projects will always prefer to launch on the most popular blockchain, and Ethereum doesn't appear like it's giving the title up for the foreseeable future. Now, Ethereum's roadmap and recent updates. Ethereum 2.0 promises an efficient proof-of-stake system where nodes are selected to record transactions by an algorithm at random. Chances of selection increase with the amount of the currency the node's owners hold or stakes. This makes it possible to dramatically decrease the complexity of the cryptographic work, leading to massive throughput gains for the whole network. Another critical component of Ethereum 2.0 is sharding, which will increase the efficiency of its resource distribution. By breaking data verification tasks among smaller nodes, each will only need to verify the received data without worrying about the other data bundles. 
This enables the whole blockchain to process tasks in a parallel, which will increase the network's capacity several times over. Ethereum 2.0 is expected to be much faster and more efficient than it currently is. Ethereum 2.0 will also be using WebAssembly through EWASM. This will make it possible to execute Ethereum code right from a mo <laughs> right from a modern web browser and enable developers to choose from more accessible programming languages like Rust, C, and C++ to write code to the blockchain. Now, what's next for Ethereum? While Ethereum 2.0 was initially set for a 2019 release, the first phase only managed to launch on December 1st, 2020, with two phases still to go. The complete release and is estimated to be executed only late into 2023. The next stage on the Ethereum upgrade roadmap is to merge the mainnet with Ethereum 2.0's beacon chain, completing the shift to proof of stake. This merge was expected to happen in quarter two of 2022, but has recently been delayed to quarter three after the Ethereum shard chains should launch by 2023. Forbes predicts that Ethereum could reach $19,842 by 2025, and Ethereum has its share of drawbacks, but the project has found its foothold in the market over the last few years. If its current run is anything to go by, Ethereum has quite a promising future in store. So yeah, that is Ethereum for you. It's usually highly, <laughs> the gas fees are very high, and to make it send a transaction uh, usually takes a lot more out of it. And also, what was the other uh, issue with it? It was the scalability in slow transaction times. Okay, yeah, so that was the scalability was the significant issue. But again, they are working on Ethereum 2.0. We got a, we had another pushback, which I know a lot of people <laughs> will always go another one. Come on, because they've been doing pushbacks for quite some time. If you ever listen to uh, crypto enthusiasts who've been in the crypto game a lot longer than me, they always go, well, it's coming, but they got pushed back again. So <laughs> we hear about it a lot from the Mar investors. He talked about today. It was pretty funny. He was like, and I'll try to be <laughs> as biased as possible, but he's the guy that just goes, he's like, he makes that noise. I like, uh, like too many pushbacks. Come on, Ethereum. Are we even going to get this? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> but that's a little bit Ethereum for you. Like it's a popular network blockchain and a lot of people like building on it because it's popular. It's number two in the crypto space. When you're looking on like Fox News, CNN, whatever news station you listen to, like you and they talk about cryptocurrencies, you always see Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, the top three cryptos out there that are the most popular. And so Ethereum, yeah, definitely has potential still to go go to who knows what sites they predict 19,000 by 2025, but you never know. The market is unpredictable. Nobody truly does know the future. Just they have a solid technology behind them. Uh, they got a bunch of smart contracts built into them. You can build a lot of D apps on them and that's where the future is headed. So there is potential for it. So this was a good article. I hope you guys got a little bit more insight on the Ethereum network. And if you did hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat, share this video with all your friends. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.